Hi everybody, this is Nikki again, and I am here to do a video. It's personal opinion, personal experience, um, no medical advice whatsoever. Um, and this is kind of spontaneous. Uh, I have a Facebook group. I thoroughly enjoy my Facebook group. I think that we have a lot of uh, nonsense discussions, but more importantly, not more equally, I just hit decline on my mom. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> um, I meant to just silence her. She's gonna call right back. Um, anyway. Equally as importantly, we have a lot of very good discussion in that in that room. Um, so I was thinking, it's very hard for me to respond with fewer than eight thousand words <laughs> in writing, um, but I can make a video. That's what I can do. I can make a video. So I am answering Shauna, um, and I will tell you what her question is, and um, and I'd tell you how I, how I would answer it if she and I were sitting in the same room. Uh, she says, so I've only been on this pump for two and a half weeks and on auto mode for a couple of days. But what I'm extrapolating from the data presented here of the lag difference, sorry, between SG and BG and auto mode versus manual mode is significant. Shouldn't the lag be the same in either mode? BG is supposed to be the front car on a roller coaster and SG is supposed to be the last car following. In my mind, this should be the same in either mode. If it's not, why? Um, okay, so... She says this is how Medtronic explained it to her, that this is, it should be the front car and the, and the last car, and that basically this is what this lag is. Um, but here's the thing. In this case, um, the reason it looks differently is because in auto mode, my BG is often higher than my SG because that lag is reflecting a rise in my blood sugar. Um, that rise is coming from, and I will tell you, here are... You know, this is what I collect on these nights where I take a look at those micro boluses and the percentages. Those rises are coming from having hours throughout the night that contain 68% of my regular insulin, 50%, 84%, 84%, 12.5%, 53%, 25%, 64%. These are right, uh, 68%, 3%. These are regular numbers in my nights in auto. Um, so what I believe is happening is that because Otto is doing such a good job, and it's a fantastic job, of helping me avoid hypoglycemia during the night, I'm accumulating this reduced insulin amount, and as I head into my morning hours, it's causing a rise in blood sugar. That lag is what it looks like when my BG is higher than my SG, because my blood sugar is on the move, and my SG is that last car following, and it just hasn't started to go yet, or it's, it's far behind, whatever. So this is what it's gonna look like in auto mode. Now in manual mode, the reason it looks so different is because my manual modes are less predictable, even though I've had a more predictable amount of insulin throughout the course of the night. Um, and that is because some nights I've eaten too much, some nights I've had a crash in the middle of the night, some nights I've been suspended. Um, it's not, I don't have anything just holding, withholding insulin for me. Um, so, I see people coming um, and here comes the door in a minute. The point is that my BG is sometimes going to be higher. My SG is sometimes going to be higher because it's reflecting a lag in either direction. Um, the reason the numbers are closer is because I rarely have one of these really big climbs coming. I do have them. Sometimes I have them, but they're just not as common as what they're not as consistent as they are in auto mode where I often am receiving less insulin um, throughout the course of the night. I don't know if that answers anything at all, but it's, that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Thank you, Shauna. Bye.